Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm putting in a bonus video. I normally just post on Tuesdays, but I wanted to share with you what things I've been falling, what I've been falling, what things I've been getting for fall DIYs. And I wanted to share them with you so that if you're out looking for stuff, maybe you want to pick up some of the same things. I know that's why I like watching some hauls. So most of it is from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to share with you some Dollar Tree Plus items and um, a few other items from a couple other stores. So we're gonna start with the other stores because there's not much, and then we'll get into the Dollar Tree stuff. I hear a lot of people on YouTube talking about getting florals from Dollar General. I have not had a ton of a good success with that, but I did pick up these. I almost picked up more, but I stuck to just three. They were a dollar each, and these aren't specifically fall, I don't think, but that's kind of what I have them in mind for. So I picked up those. And then just a couple things from Hobby Lobby. Do not overlook Hobby Lobby. Their fall stuff is already 40% off um, and really good prices, I thought. So the first thing I picked up were these bows. I don't normally buy them. Um, I usually just make them, but I thought this was a good price. It was 12 of them, $2.99 and then 40% off. So I'm not gonna do the math right here, but I thought it was a good price. I thought they were really cute. It could also be used for like, Christmas time as well, or any time really. They're kind of nice farmhousey. But I picked those up. And then I picked these up. There are three of each kind. No, six of each kind. Um, but I thought those are really cute. They'd be fun um, to add into some projects. They were $3.99 and then again, 40% off. So something different than what I'm finding at Dollar Tree. I thought it'd be fun to pick up some different things. And then I picked up these stencil, this is a really good price, $1.99. I think these came to like $1.10 or something like that. And good size stencils. And then I, uh, and then the other side is this. And they had another one. I'm gonna try my best with my editing to stick in a clip here of other things I found. Um, but they had this in a different one too. I think the other one had uh, the truck on it. But I have a lot of stuff with trucks, so I decided to go for this one. But I'm really excited about this. Um, I also picked up, I'm not going to share with you, but just one of those plain um, doormats from Dollar Tree. And we're going to be doing a fall doormat. So it's kind of what this is in mind for, although I'm sure I'll be using it for other things. Okay, now I'm going to just share with you a couple things I picked up from the Dollar Tree that are not specifically fall, but that I will probably be using in the fall or Christmas season. I'm not totally sure yet on all of them. I picked up this little wooden lantern. I thought this would be really cute on a tear tray. And it really has a pretty good size, or good, good size, good brightness light. Um, I know it's like light in here, so you can't see this good, but pretty good. And they did have a couple different patterns of these. So I thought that was cute. I also picked up these buttons. I do not have a huge stash of buttons at my house. These are sometimes in the crafter square. This time I found them at the checkout. Um, they're mostly black buttons, but there's a ton in there, different sizes. And I thought these would be handy for sure for like Christmas stuff, but um, I just picked them up now while I saw them. And I mean, they can be used for lots of different DIYs. It could be like little eyes and scarecrows, um, all sorts of things. And then I did pick up a couple new stencils from Dollar Tree. I'm trying to expand myself a little bit because they don't have a Cricut. They don't have some of the other tools that are really helpful with creating. So I've been trying out some stencils. I found this one. I had not seen this one before, but I really liked this one. It does have, um, specifically this top of one would be great for like fall stuff, but I think any of these really could be um, used for any different project. And then this is a self-adhesive stencils. I don't know that they, those work necessarily better than the other ones, but I thought these were some nice patterns just to kind of add to my stash. And then I picked up one of these trays. These are nice and like sturdy and thick and can be painted and done all sorts of things with. So I picked up one of these. And then I picked up this ribbon. I've been seeing this lately. It's their stitch ribbon. This is not in the fall stuff, um, but I did pick it up with fall in mind. They did have it in other colors, but I just picked it up in this nice like burnt orange color. I picked up this Baker's twine and I love the colors in this. So obviously this is for fall. Although I will say that I went to then to another Dollar Tree. These are both, this is all from a couple visits at a couple different Dollar Trees. Um, but I went to another Dollar Tree after I picked this up and they had larger things of Baker twine in just individual colors. I still like this, but if I had seen the other one, I may have gone for that just because that I 
Don't know how much I'll use the yellow one. I mean, I'll purpose to try to use it like in the spring, but the orange and brown are probably more what I would have gotten. Anyway, sometimes you just don't know. And if you wait to see if you have something better than what you did like, it's gone. Anyways, now the calendars. I do think I have a clip that I can show. Hopefully I can insert it um, of the calendars from Dollar Tree. I really like what I'm seeing. Um, but I am being very careful with what I buy because I think last year I got a little excited. I ended up returning a couple of them last year um, because I was like, I'm not going to use all of these and they might be pretty, but if they don't, I only make stuff for my home. So if it doesn't go with my home decor, then I'm not really going to use it. So I only picked up two, but I'm excited with the ones I picked up. This is the first one. And I'm going to show you the back so you can see the individual ones. I thought there was a lot of so a lot of like gardeny ones, which I thought would be perfect for like all throughout the summer. And remember, you can do DIYs with the full pages as well as with these things here. But I just want to show those to you. So I was excited for that one. And then I picked up this one. And here is the back here. So you can kind of see these images. They look similar to this last year. Actually, I'm hoping it's not super similar. I think I, it might be similar to one I picked up last year. <laughs> I tried really hard to be careful, but now that I'm like looking at this again, I'm not even going to pull them out. I have the other calendars right here, but I'm not going to pull it out because I don't, I don't want to, I'm not doing that. Um, okay. And then moving on, I'm just going to share with you a couple of Dollar Tree Plus items. Um, if you have a Dollar Tree Plus near you, check it out. Some of the stuff's great. Some of it's whatever. It's really just like an aisle is all I've seen is like one aisle worth of Dollar Tree Plus stuff and it's stuff up to $5 is what I'm seeing. So I did pick up, the tags have already fallen off, um, but they were $3 each. I picked up two of these pumpkins and one in like this because I feel like I want the bigger ones and they're harder to find um, and they're really not super great prices elsewhere. So I thought that was okay. Um, I do need some like bigger bigger ones. So pick that up. And then I picked this up. They did have other varieties. They had some Halloween ones and they had another fall one that I don't know if I have a picture of it. it had squirrels and acorns. This is supposed to be, I think a Tic Tac toe board. It doesn't actually say, it just says wood harvest craft. So I think you're, it's supposed to be for like Tic Tac toe and you can paint them. Um, but I'm going to probably just use these individual pieces for something, you know, for projects and then the tray for something else. So that's what I'm planning to do. Um, they had some really cute um, craft kits. So I will try to insert some pictures or videos here as well. If you don't create well, like on your own, like getting ideas, you can just buy these and paint them. Um, they're really, really cute. And then one more thing from the plus section, which honestly, I don't even know if I wanna DIY it, but I probably will. Uh, this was only $3. You can see it's a really good size. They had a darker wood and then they also had acorns like this as well. I think this is really pretty as is. If I do DIY it, I don't think I'm going to paint it, but I might just add some decals or something. I'm not sure. So really excited for this piece. All right, moving on to the fall specific stuff. Definitely have some new stuff this year. Um, I will insert some clips of the variety. They have so many pumpkins. They've got this faux leather stuff, which I liked uh, some of it, but I wasn't a huge fan of other ones. Um, but I'm going to try to insert that for you guys to be looking at. Um, definitely keep an eye on your stores. If you have a Dollar Tree local to you, check it regularly. I usually go to mine once a week when I go grocery shopping. Um, it's very convenient for me to do that. Actually, I have two of them that I go to. And um, because the stuff comes in, a little bit at a time or it only gets put out on the floors a little bit at a time based on when the staff has the time to do it but the stuff comes and goes really really quick so i tried to not go crazy this year i'm hoping to be somewhat done with fall stuff that i'm buying um although i've seen from some other people who have hauled stuff a couple items that i'm going to keep my eye out for um but i did have a gift card that i finished up with some of this but um anyways all right, let's get into what I picked up. I picked up these pumpkins. One of them has already fallen off, but they're these like sweater 
pumpkins. They're on the clips. See, one of them's already fallen off the paper, but um, so I got the orange, the, the cream, and the green. I thought these would look really well actually together is my hope. Um, but you, they are easy to pull off. Sorry, our little hooks just fell off the wall. That actually happened last night and we heard this really loud noise. We were sitting on the couch and I was walking around and could not find what had fallen. Um, and then this morning as my husband was leaving, he realized that's what it was. All that's hanging on it is like hats. It's not like anything heavy. So he just like pushed it back up, but um, it just fell down again. So, but it got caught by some guitar cases that are over in that corner, so it didn't crash to the ground. Okay, I don't even know what happened. I'll find out when I edit it. When I edit this, that caught me off guard. Anyways, I thought these were really cute. <laughs> they do come, oh, they come off the picks, so, or the clips. You can use them like this to clip onto like a wreath, but in the past, I'm hoping they come off easily here too, although with the sweater material, I don't know. But the clip ones have always like pulled off really easily, but I don't know. I think they're really cute. Then I picked up these faux leather words. Now they have them in two colors. This lighter one has blessed and thankful, and then the darker one has blessed and grateful. It has grateful, but I'm not sure if it has thankful and blessed, thankful and grateful, or blessed and grateful. Um, anyways, I only picked up the one. I almost picked up them both, and I was like, I really don't need that many words. So there's two of each, but I did like these. I like the um, the texture difference. I like to have different textures and dimensions and things like that in my projects. I feel like it elevates it a little bit. So I like that. I also picked up these little burlap pumpkins. They're not like these little ones aren't always the best shape, but they look cute in like a filler like in a jar or in a basket, just like it's filler items or on a tear tray. So I just picked up those ones. I picked up these chalkboard ornaments. I just picked up the pumpkin. They had them, two different pumpkins, like they had this one and then like the gourds. They also had, they had a ton of them, acorns and squirrels. Hopefully I'm inserting footage here for you guys to see that. Um, but I just picked up this one, just the one. I also picked up these it says harvest DIY words. I think these were out last year, but I never saw them. I'm actually gonna open them really quick because it was kind of hard to see what words were in there and I wanna tell you so that you know if you wanna buy them. They have hello autumn, hello fall, give thanks. Oh, I like these and they're not all the same. I didn't know if there was gonna be like multiples in there. Blessed, welcome fall and farm fresh, which a couple of these can be used like different times. Blessed, farm fresh, those could be used, you know, anytime. So I was excited about that. That was what, six of them for $1.25? I thought that was pretty good. These I was super excited about. These are rub-on transfers, but they are, um, they're, they're, the picture is then on like a glass, but like, I don't know why you couldn't just use them anywhere. So they had four different patterns and I got them all. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Sorry for reflections. And then I have this one, happy fall y'all. Thought that was cute. I like the colors on these. They're like colored, but like muted. So they kind of could go be used with like any anything. Grateful, thankful, blessed. Which you could also use this and like omit the pumpkin at the bottom, like this piece and just use the words and use it any time of year. I mean, grateful, thankful, blessed, in my opinion, those are not words that are just fall um, or like Thanksgiving. Um, I consider myself grateful, thankful, and blessed all year. And then hello autumn. Again, you could just use the pumpkins if you didn't want to use the words. Thought those were cute. I picked up this little cutting board shaped sign, sign um, to do a DIY for my kitchen. They had a couple different patterns of these. I don't remember what clips I got, so I don't remember what I will be showing here, but I did try to take uh, video or pictures in the store so you could see the other options. Then these, I, I got one of each because I wanted three and originally I thought I was gonna leave them as is, but I'm thinking I might change them. We'll see. But blessed, thankful, and of course, grateful um, to use all three of these in a DIY together, which the colors together do look really nice. Lean back a little bit so you can see them. Um, 
So I'm not sure I'm gonna leave them as is in the DIY or if I'm going to be changing them up, so stay tuned. I'm hoping to make some porch decor soon and I'm needing to make some more substantial items instead of just little things. So that's what I'm hoping for. These, I don't know what I'm gonna use, but I cannot pass them up because I love the coloring on them. It's a very thin type of wood, but I picked up this leaf. I love the, like, they didn't all have the same wood grain, but I grabbed this one because I loved it. I did notice this is chipped. I don't know if it was like that beforehand or not, but I don't think you'll notice when I do whatever I'm gonna do with it. Um, so love that a lot. And then they have these pumpkins with different shades. They're actually different on each side, but again, I loved, like it's thin. I feel like it could, you know, if you snapped it, you could break it easily, but I liked the, um, I liked the finish on these. This is a very bumpy texture, so I don't know if like a transfer will work good on it, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. We'll see. Oh, one more thing. I just remembered I did not bring it in here. Hang on. The last thing is some fabric. They had fabric specifically in the fall area and it's kind of hard to tell, but I think this is, has like the trucks on it with pumpkins. And then this orange one just has like the white print of pumpkins and like sunflowers. So I'm excited for these. I was excited to find them. They had quite a few, but I was trying to limit myself to things that I really felt like I would be using. Anyways, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, Please subscribe before you leave so that you don't miss out on my future videos where you will be see you will be seeing all of these things put to use. I'm really excited to get into the fall DIYs more. I already have one video out, which I will have linked for you if you want to check that out. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.